Day low. Gang. We are in the building. Look, man. You see what the title is about, man? Mangoes versus girlfriends. Let me tell you, man. I wanted to actually talk about this subject because a lot of people falling victim to things. They dealing with mangoes thinking they are girlfriends. And listen, man, nothing in the world is wrong with dealing with mangoes. Look, here's the thing, man. I want to give, first of all, man, I want to give a salute to everybody in the building. <laughs> Means a lot to me. And listen, man, let's give a salute to all the mangoes doing their thing. <laughs> we in the building, man. Look, shout out to all you guys, man. Look, I'm going to open it up also and let some brothers jump on and talk about their experiences if they want. I don't plan on being on too long, but look, let me know, man. I had to upgrade my internet. No, we about to find out tonight because every time I've been going live, things have been freezing up. So you guys let me know. I want to make sure it's not the, uh, shouldn't be the internet no more. It might be this program I'm using, man. So you guys let me know, man. And I appreciate all you guys that's in the building. Yeah, man. Salute, man. Yo, you know how we do it, man. And look, I want to tell you guys, man, shout out to all the mango inspectors. This is the people that's joining the channel, Mango Inspectors. That's what we are, man. We're inspecting these mangoes, man, making sure everything go right, man. But I really want to dive into this, man. And, and if any of you brothers want to jump on me, you just let me know. Um, but because, look, man, I just got off the phone with some guys. And just the reason why I decided to get on this live stream late like this, man. I'm, I'm talking to guys every day, man. And you guys do not know how many brothers salute to you, my brother Hunter. Hunter's good guy. Look, man, you don't know how many dudes that um that I talk to every day that's falling for the okie doke. And I don't want you guys to fall for the okie doke, man. So this is what we're gonna talk about tonight. So it's bigger than just girlfriends versus bangos. Um, you can have the girlfriend, girlfriend experience, mangoes, chop. It's so many different categories that you can fall down. But you can, I myself would rather deal with a girlfriend, but mangoes have their place, man. Mangoes have, they do have their place and they can, they can help a lot of different things, man. A lot of people need it. And we're going to also touch on, somebody just sent me this video too, uh, of the young brother, uh, Austin Holloman, he, he went viral. And man, look, I saw this, man, and I couldn't believe it. I have never, I'm going to be honest with you, I never watched not one of Austin's videos, but I support him because he's one of the brothers. Any any man who's taking their destiny in their own hand and doing what they got to do, I support him. Even when I don't watch their channel, I'll give it a like, whatever. I support the whole passport movement because, let me tell you something, there's nothing in the world more powerful than a man that thinks for themselves. Now you look at them, especially a brother, because our community has group think with everything wrong, not with the things that's right. Everything wrong, we have group think, but things that's right, we don't have group think anymore. So I looked at all the people hating on the young brother. I, I read some of them things on Twitter and I don't even really go on Twitter, but so many people sent it to me. And listen, I understand the sister girls being mad with the passport community, I understand it because it's um, it's going down the options. A lot of people are traveling out. I understand, but men, I have no idea, especially black men. I don't understand why you ninjas would get mad with brothers traveling. Can somebody let me know, man? Look, let me know, brothers. Look, is the audio processing right? Somebody let me know. Get put a look. Put a one in there and let me know if things are really. If everything's working good, man, any of you guys, let me know because there's upgrade is in there. But let me tell y'all, man, why do any of y'all guys think this is, what is this with us as men, especially black men? What is this with us, man? Appreciate you guys, man. Much love and respect for all you guys. Been the one, maybe the internet was acting crazy. But look, what, what do y'all think is the reason that brothers are mad with us weighing our option? And it's another thing, look, and I'm going to say this to anybody looking. Most of the guys I have met in my travels, whether I've been Mexico or DR, was financially good. They weren't, look, ain't no, 
<laughs> what, what the guy say, look, man, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no fruity stuff this way. Listen, man, these are good looking brothers. They can have women. I ran through countless women in the United States. That wasn't it. I was looking for something different. And a lot of the men I met were the same way. They was able to have all the women they wanted, but they wanted something better. So now I was reading. Uh, yeah, you're right, man. Brothers, look, this is real talk. Let's go through the plan. They got the plantation mentality. That's why I don't like saying the matrix. Look, this is one reason why. Because in the matrix, you could be plugged in. You have a certain level of being comfortable. But on that plantation, you know what it was about. That plantation was the real mindset, man. And this, look, man, you're right. Let me tell you. Steve-O, you're right. That crabs in the barrel mentality that been passed down through generations, man. We got to finally get rid of it. And that's why. I think we can do it. Us as brothers, we can finally destroy that thing. And you're right. Save yourself. Look, save yourself, black man. I'm going to tell you. And let me tell you something, man. When I was looking at that, again, I've never watched any other brothers, uh, brother Austin's um, videos at all. But I support him because he's a man that does. And I'm just saying, seeing all those men hating on him was very just, I'm just, but not just him. Even the stuff going on right now with Candace Owens, she all right. I, you know, some things she say I agree with, some things I don't. But them getting mad with her because she has a white man. This we it's time for us as a people to move past these little dumb things. I don't care who people dealing with. Are you trying to stop my progress? That's what I care about. I don't care who a man is giving the beef to. I don't care who a woman is getting that beef by. And that's that's the way I look at it. All I'm I'm caring about is us making progress. I'm tired of being on the worst team. I told y'all guys, man, I'm from New Orleans, man. The Saints was losing all the time. As a community, aren't you tired of losing? I'm tired of losing. We have to change the way we do everything as men. And that's why I'm telling you, that's why I embrace that passport movement. The passport movement is the right movement for us to do to, for us to free ourselves, man, to finally get out the plantation, do the things we need to do. And not everybody in the plant, um, everybody, everybody that has the passport is not one of your brothers, too. You got I met plantation bros in my travel, too. But the good thing is I haven't it, it wasn't that many of them. You know, it wasn't that many. But look, I don't want to go on tangents, man. We're going to get into the we're going we're gonna to get into it. Remember, any of you guys want to get on, man, I'm going to drop it. I'm, I'm going to drop the link. Y'all guys get on. I'm not staying on too long. I just wanted to touch on this, man, because, listen, this is powerful. And this is part of us freeing ourselves, man. But part of us freeing ourselves, you got to make sure you pick the right woman. Too many of us is coming. And this is everybody pick on Susua, but you should know what Susua is right now. Susua is the playground. It's just for you to come have a good time. And I, I said this the other night, Mr. Flip Flop, me and Mr. Flip Flop talking, and we were talking about everybody down in Dominican Republic, a lot of the guys, and they downing because they falling in love with the wrong woman. And when he said that, that was so real because I know how, how easy it is to kind of fall for the wrong woman because a lot of the women in the DR are so pretty. They're, they're pretty. And if you're not really used to dealing with a lot of pretty women. And let's face it, man, a lot of men, I'm telling you, I speak a lot about the black experience. A lot of brothers, let's just face it, man, a lot of women in the United States and a lot of the areas that brothers going to encounter, especially us brothers in our 40s, I'm in my mid 40s. You look at not there, not all, not all, but too many. When you see a lot of women in their 40s right now, man, come on, man. I saw a girl uh, I used to go to school with maybe two months ago. And when I saw Leslie, I thought that was Leslie's mother. Let me tell you, the girl had changed so much. I thought I was looking at her mother and I'm staring at her. I'm in the store and all that. I'm thinking that's the girl mother. When I went up to her, it was her. I couldn't even believe it was her. She looked like she could be my mother. And that's how crazy it is. So a lot of dudes, when they used to dealing with these kind of women, as they women. So when they come to Dior, man, they get them young tenders. Young tenders, super fine, beautiful brick house. <laughs> I'm talking about, oh yeah, a lot of these women, let me tell you, brother, 
A lot of these brothers hitting a lot of these women hitting the wall. They ain't, they ain't just hitting the wall. The wall's falling on them. When they hit the wall head first, bam, the wall's falling on them. And I'm not dissing the women because listen, not a lot of like a lot of people look, man. I don't have no problem with with women. I mean, I I'm I'm one of the guys that want women to get everything they ever wanted and, and live their life like you want, but let us live our life. That's my whole problem with everything. Well, <laughs> but Leslie looked like look, Leslie looked like Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Leslie looked like the Undertaker had slammed on her head a few times. I couldn't even believe it. And listen, she was one of the finest chicks in school. All the dudes was sweating her. Right now, all the dudes would be running from her. And that's the thing. Look, at least I still look, I done gained weight, but damn, at least I still look similar to what I look like. So this is the a problem. So you come in DR for your first time, right? And you meet this young tenderoni, and this thing put it on you. And these women will put it on you, man. You will meet some who? Let me tell you, man. You will meet some. You will meet some chicks. And I'm not just talking about Susu. I ain't gonna pick on Susu, but Susu is fun. But let's let's just take this from like Santo Domingo. We gonna just do Santo Domingo. Uh, I'm telling you, man. Santo Domingo is the is the spot, and the brother just told me, don't talk about La Vega anymore, <laughs> but I got to put it out there early. La Vega, look, look, I'm, look, man, I'm a YouTube guy, man, content creator. Uh, I, I got a lot of respect for you, brothers, and I'm going to just put it out there. Any of you brothers watching me, you need to go to La Vega. La Vega, like, look, it has passed um, Santiago to me with, with the most beautiful women. Yeah, man, this thing got an auto thing on it. It's going to catch you if you're cursing or whatever. Um, and that's the and that's for YouTube because YouTube is just uh, a lot of my stuff get limited because I talk about, you know, clapping your cheeks. <laughs> look, but look, La Vega. Oh, man, you brothers definitely need to go to La Vega. Man, you will have a good time. La Vega is just a, 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 a just a awesome place, man. The women are drop dead gorgeous. Every time now I went to La Vega, I met a woman who you will sell your stuff for in the United States and move. That's how pretty these women were. So I'm talking about fit, friendly, cooperative. The women will work with you. And La Vega is the place that you need to go, man. I'm telling you. Um, that's that's just gonna put that out there. And um, I'm going, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in La Vega once my foot heal. I got another surgery, but we're gonna we definitely gonna be dropping it up. What's up, brother? Shout out to you, brother T Money. Everything is going good. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. They are built like brick houses in La Vega. Look, a lot of places on the island, the women are just, oh, man. The women are just fine as hell. But I'm telling you, this is a thing that can trap you up. So we're going to get into the pros and cons of everything. Look, I'm going to talk about the trick and trick and name. I'm telling look, ain't nothing wrong. Look, this ain't the channel for that, bro. Look, I'm I support the trickeration nation. I have done it all. Listen to me, man. I have had serious relationships. I done tricked off with women. I done did. And look, now this is the thing too, man. Let, let, let's, 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 let's just say this first. Let's get this out here first, man. Being part of trickeration nation in DR outside of Susua, it can just happen to you. The women I done got down with like Dirty Diana. And, uh, I, I was with Dirty Diana the night, man. Look, look, that's just an awesome woman. Look, Trickeration Nation. Joining Trickeration Nation outside of Susua can happen to you. Very easy. Because you meet these women on like Tinder. You don't know they own that kind of stuff, man. I got a video about to come out now. I got a video coming out for the members, all you brothers that's in the main ones. But man, join that. I'm telling you, y'all need to join this right here because not only will I be showing the pictures, showing different things, but you will be able to contact me. We'll be able to talk. It's just $2, you know, support the channel. And the reason why I'm saying that because I talked to so many people, but now it's getting to the point. The channel is getting big. It's almost 14,000 people. It's getting bigger and bigger. I can't talk to everybody anymore. So, I'm going to make a priority to talk to the brothers that support the channel. I just can't, I can't get with everybody anymore. Brothers, get that Spanish. Get look, 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 look. This part of the whole game. This part of what we, we actually talk about tonight. The Spanish will get you in the game. 
like start learning Spanish. But even if you're doing little things like um, people talking about using like Duolingo, I'm telling you, Duolingo helps a little bit at a, at a time. How Spanish works is you do a little bit at a time. You build, build, build. And I, I talked about this on one of the members videos I just put out. And I talked about where I meet regular women at. And this is I'm going I'm to I'm share a lot of this with you. Man, look, that's supermarket Bravo. And I, you, hear, you heard me talk about this, man. The supermarket Bravo is in, in that Piantini on Winston Churchill is where a lot of my story times take. Y'all hear me talk about story times? I'm telling you, that's where I've met so many women at. And I always had a need. I come up to them. Can you help me with this? And the women, and look, the women will always help you. They come in, in, they will try to do their best that they can. They want to help you. They're not like uh, United States where they're going to take, you know, not a lot of women. Me, not all of them. You hold a door and phone. Uh, how you doing there, my sister? Uh, like, look, I didn't do you anything. I want you to win, man. We got a. All right. Shout out to you, brother. 999 Super Chad. Look, man, look, it's, I'm going to be honest, brother. I'm going to I'm going to call it out there. Listen, I'm going to be honest. And I'm just talking about my experiences. Look, here's the thing, too. And DR, a lot of brothers have different experiences. Like it depends on you as a person. Again, like like Flip Flop was saying, a lot of people get hurt. But look, I've been burnt so much. My hands are I got, I got calluses on my hand. It's I'm like iceberg slim. <laughs> like you read if y'all guys have read that book, he got that name because he was in the bar. Somebody shot the bullet went through that through his uh hat. He ain't even flinch. And that's how I am. I have been through so many different things that when a woman do something crazy, I just kind of expect it. So I don't have no heart like that where I can be. I think I'm all I'm, I think I'm all hurt it out. <laughs> I, I ain't nothing can kind of hurt me now, man. So look, and let me tell you guys, man. I know a lot about the Dominican. Woman. I live with a real Dominican woman. She takes great care of me. I don't live with a few of them. I know Dominican women very well i know dominican women oh brother just came up look shout out to you brother from for becoming a member i appreciate that man this is what it's about with building these networks again ty you will be able to contact me man you will have my number and a lot of you guys have my number and you guys know one thing about one thing about me man i love chopping it up with the brothers look before i went live today i done talked to three or four brothers today Yesterday I talked to five and they all telling me the same thing, man. man. I met this girl. I'm like, when you met at what happened? Well, I met her on Dominican Cupid and she's at don't send her no money. I'm like, listen, I don't care what she says, don't send her any money at all. She's not gonna go nowhere. Don't give people your money for nothing. Would you give somebody money for nothing? Don't give people money for nothing. They need to do you need to juggle for me or something. Can you do flips? <laughs> I ask women this all the time. What are you going to do for me? Because look, brother, you get a consultation, brother, from me. Listen, you just like you just did. You join. I will talk to you. I I'm gonna tell you something, man. I I don't look. I never knock the consultation because the consultation thing is good. A lot of people. I will always tell people to get with brothers if you need a consultation. Get this, but me personally, this is me. As uh, long as you support my channel, you support what I'm trying to do. I will talk to you if I got enough time. That's just me because it's, it's me. Um, but everybody's different. And I don't hate on a man who says, oh, man, I need this or I need that. I do. Well, shout out World Traveler. Yeah, you're right, man. <laughs> don't don't, don't that. listen, man. Listen, now, now, look, this is I'm four years in now. I, I can. All right. And shout out to you, brother. Shout out. Look, I'm, I mean, I appreciate all you guys becoming members, man. That's a, that's a wonderful thing. Another brother became, look, shout out to you guys for becoming members, man. This, look, this is what it's about, support. And you will see, I'm easy to get with. I am definitely easy to get with. But look, but, but the brother said, man, you always get off the subject. <laughs> I don't want to get off the subject, man, but I, I do definitely appreciate all you guys supporting the channel, man. Because look, one thing about it, my channel started to grow. Because real recognize real man and look and many of you guys who follow me I done met up with you guys Susua, man I done met up with you guys in Santo Domingo man 
I was with some dudes the other night. We was in the Paris bar, cutting the hell up. Everybody left with something. Like, yeah, but this is this is uh, this is part of it. learning Spanish is part of the key. You don't have to be look. You don't have to be a hundred percent of your Spanish. Just basic Spanish. So look, and, and here's why. I'm gonna, let me tell y'all guys something, man. This is real talk. Anytime I just tried to use the actual what Google Translate, that sucking them sold me out, man. <laughs> that Google Translate and that Google Translator have sold me out in spots where I really needed it. I, I, I look, I done been on the sofa with a woman before. She don't know no English. I pull his phone out and I'm hitting it. It's burning up. And I'm like, give it to her. And that mug saying the wrong stuff. And I look at it. Damn, what is that? It just the Google Translator will lead you sometime the wrong direction. So you need you're going to need to know basic Spanish. And look, a lot of these girls want to practice their Spanish with you. They're going to sit there and talk to you, man. And they're going to talk to you. They're going to run it with you and they're going to try. And look, hold on, man. Let, let's let's get I'm, I don't want to start going into this. Look, let's first start dealing with this, man. The. The girlfriend, let's talk about the girlfriend, uh, the girlfriend experience. And let's talk about the mango. So look, let's start with the girlfriend experience first. Let, I'm going to try to go through this quick. Let's talk about this first. Man. The girlfriend experience. Brother saying is dead. It might be dead in other places, but Santa Domingo, you can have the girlfriend experience, man. This is a definite. Um, and, and, and my second trip to Santa Domingo. I had a wonderful, this is going to be on the members. I'm going to show her face, everything on the members. Um, I had one of the best girlfriend experiences I have ever had. And the, her name was Lady. She, she eventually started getting on my nerves. But let me tell you something. I had met her on Dominican Cupid. And on Dominican Cupid, me and her was talking. And we got to know each other before I even came. But the second trip, man, she came. She got on that Caribbean tour bus. She lived outside of um, Santiago. She came to, um, she came, I was staying in the Melicon in that same building I just did a video about that uh, that villa, in, in the villa right on the ocean, right on the Melicon. I was staying there. She came, I paid the ca taxi cab for her. It, she told me, and look, what, what made me like her? A lot of these chicks will lie to you, but she told the truth. She said it cost me $10 Shout out to you, brother, for becoming a member, man. I really appreciate Oh, Ron, you another Ron too, brother. That's what's up. Look, so she showed up at the room. I couldn't believe how pretty this girl was. She was probably 23, 24 years old. Gorgeous, hair down her back. She was super thick. Because a lot of these girls got these old ass iPhones. She had an iPhone 4. So I couldn't really see how pretty Lady was. Lady was very pretty. So when I went to go see, I couldn't believe, man. Look, and this is this is how you fall into it. This is what happened to me. When I went down there, I'm used to dealing with these women in the United States. I saw how beautiful this woman was, man. Listen, she could have been on the freaking Kardashians. Lady was that pretty, that fine, and just super thick. In one of my videos, you can see her in there. She's the, she's the thumbnail. I'm looking out of the window at the ocean and she's there. All I see is cakes. So we come up there. She stay with me and we just have a good time. We're going out to eat. That was the best girlfriend experience, man. Not only was that, not only with them, <laughs> with that yam pie good, that pie was, oh man, that pie was so good. And everything else was good. Let me tell you what she did to me. Like, <laughs> we had, <laughs> look. I gotta, I gotta say it, but I gotta watch how I say it because I don't want this video to get limited. <laughs> you know, I start talking and I get limited. And so, look, one of the first things that she did when she get there, when she get to the room with me, she go take a, she go take a shower, and when she come out, she got uh, nothing on. She grabbed my New York Yankees fitted hat. She, she, she grabbed the hat and put it on, and she grab a beer. She you not. She take the beer, and she down the beer. And she go down on me. I mean, straight up. Shout out, Brother Steve, man. I appreciate you for becoming a member. Look, she goes down on me 
with the head on. And I'm talking about, goo -goo 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 -goo. <laughs> and look, while I'm laying on the couch, bro, I'm laying on the couch and I'm just looking at the ocean. And it was one of the best feelings I ever had. Right then and there, I knew I was going to move to the DR. That was it. Just that. <laughs> yeah, brother said, look, man, look, uh, look, look, brother Sly, I, 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 I break out in the story times <laughs> in a heartbeat. That's how I do it. But look, but it's true. Layla was handling her business so much that I, I was like, no, nah, that's it. Let me tell you something, man. I still was talking to one of my ex-girlfriends in the United States. That next day I called her and I was just like on there. Oh, what that movie is all about? Like, tell your mom I ain't never. I'm like, look, whatever we was, what we had is over with. <laughs> After that night with Lady, when I woke up, she was making plantain and all that. I'm like, nah, that's over with. That 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 was. A, I had never experienced that, and that's what's happened. So I'm telling you guys, these are things you're going to experience. Just don't go. It's a good thing. Just don't be too overwhelmed by. It. Don't run off like that. I just I don't had that girlfriend experience so many times. So that's when I hear people saying the girlfriend experience is over. I'm like, man, the girlfriend experience ain't over. Maybe it's over for you because it's how you've been acting. Maybe look, let me tell you one thing I've, I've learned about women. I learned this from my mom and my aunt. My mom loved my stepdad. A lot of you guys heard this story time. So my stepdad was a he was an OG. Like, I had like an OG stepdad, man. He would get, he would get everything. Yeah, it is all the nights. Sunshine. Yeah, that's what Lady was. Sun, her name was Lady, but she was she was definitely sunshine to me. So look, my mom would run behind my stepdad. My stepdad and Bruce, the man raised me. Bruce, and like since I had the only dad in the neighborhood, he would run through all the women in our whole neighborhood. Right at this time, we lived in Harvey, Louisiana, which is the West Bank of New Orleans. He was running through all the women and my mom, she could, she loved Bruce, no matter what he did, she loved him. And that's how things work. When you run behind a woman, she don't want you. You're, you're, you're validating her. You need to focus on something else, whether it's your business, your dreams or whatever you're trying to do. And the women will run behind you. A lot of us get these failed marriages and stuff in the United States. It them happen to me where I put the woman too high on a pedestal. Leave her under your shoe. And I'm not dissing the women. Put them under your shoe and she will run behind you. You want to know why women in the United States, we always talk about, oh, they, they only want the Pookie and Ray Ray. Because the Pookie and Ray Ray don't care nothing about her. He only using her for assets. And she can feel that. So she tries her hardest to validate for the Pookie and Ray Ray. That's the, that's the truth. So my mom did that with Bruce. He wasn't the Pookie and Ray Ray. But he had so many women. My mom ran behind. She was my mom would be crying, going crazy. And Bruce, Bruce, listen, he raised me. He is my father. He is a, a solid dude. But it's crazy. Bruce was so gangster. <laughs> he would cheat so much. I remember I'm sitting on the sofa with my mom. <laughs> he called our own house asking for the woman he was dealing with. The woman name. I still remember the woman name. The woman name was Sue. I'm sitting on the couch with my mom. We watching something. And he asked the phone. He like, is Sue there? My mom like, you fool, you call your own house. You know what I'm saying? That's the stuff. But my mom ran behind him like that. He called his own house looking for another woman. That's what kind of stuff he was. But I learned things from him. You, you need to keep, and, and this is true. You need to definitely, with all you do, with all you do, put yourself first. If you put yourself first, you won't be last. When you put a woman first, you saw what happened to Jaheem. Look at Jaheem now. Jaheem like crackhead. <laughs> no. So when you put a woman first, you're going to lose. But we're taught to put the woman first. Man, don't put the woman first. You come first. You don't have to look. Let me tell you, man, you keep women under your foot and they will run behind you. You can call me any name you want. You can call me misogynist. You can call. I don't give a shit because I don't need nothing from nobody. This is the this is the, the truth. Put yourself first. And look, same thing in, in the in, in the DR. The reason why a lot of Dominican women, I hear men always talking about this. Look, hold on. I hear this all the time. Well, they're dealing with motor conchos and they're dealing with this, and I'm doing all this. You're doing the same thing. You're coming to the DR. And you're you're changing to baby face. I'll pay your rent. <laughs> I cook your dinner too, Ooh, baby. 
soon as I come home from work, I pee. You know, don't, don't leave that in the United States. <laughs> I look, no matter what I tell people, they still do the opposite. Brothers, look, any of you guys listen to me, please, please, please leave that simp culture, man. Black dudes, look. I don't see this with Latino men. I don't see this with white men. I see this with us brothers, man. We are taught. I, man, let me tell you something. We can we can we keep it real tonight as brothers? A lot of us, man, a lot of us are simps, man. Our music, our thing, we grew up in, in the day, man. And we, we, just think about the stuff that we we do we, <laughs> that we are taught as, as men, man. We're taught to be simps because a lot of us grow up with our dads. <laughs> I love that. I'm just telling you guys the truth, man. A lot look, how you fix anything is to put it up front, man. We just putting it up front. You know what I'm saying is true, man. A lot of us, a lot of us guys, man, are, are look, I know I'm not even trying to be funny, man. I'm just I'm just keeping it 100, man. Look, y'all know a lot of us are, are taught to be simps. Like, come on, man. Am I telling the truth, man? Look, man, put a one in the chat if, if a lot of us are, are taught to be simps. Y'all hear me always talking about black like black community was raised backwards we are look we live in we grew up in a community that big mama rules we all of us do that's part of our culture y'all know that man shout look shout out to you brothers for keeping it 100. we grew up in a culture where big mama rules it now now it's just time for us to take it back like all of our music look i love that music y'all hear me say that saying them so i love all that stuff man it is it's it's funny but let's recognize it and fix it. So I'm telling you guys a way we can fix it. If we can't fix it in the States, we can, <laughs> we, we can fix it somewhere else. Like, and look, and I guarantee you if, you, if you stay like this, you will change America. If we stay putting ourselves first, the women gonna come for you. Because let me tell you one thing, man. Life runs on, I heard the man, shout out to Kevin Samuels. And he, and, and he, and he talked about winter coming. Winter is definitely coming, man. Everything is higher. Let me let me let me explain. A, a couple of weeks ago, a woman I order DoorDash a lot when I need food or whatever. Um, a woman came and and bought me my food. She in the car with her two little kids. She's like, "Yeah, I gotta work this. I gotta. I'm by myself." And and she's talking to me, and I, I saw that. And look, the old me, the old little simp guy in me would have been like, "Hey, hey hello, it's okay." <laughs> But I looked at her and said, when are coming? <laughs> See, I, I ain't saying that I was happy that, that she was like that, but I'm glad she's realizing what it is. I hear these streets. It's raw. It, it, it's raw. And that's what you want for your life. It's raw out here, man. And look, and like your brother said, breaking out an R&B song. Yes, I'm known to break out an R&B song, man. I, I definitely be ready. To, I will break out an R&B song in, in a minute. But that's, that's part of our culture. This is our culture, man. So let's fix our culture, man. Look, I want us to win. I want all men to win. I, I want us to win. I want women to win too. But here's the problem, man. We can't really fix the situation in the United States because we got these, like, these women raise these guys up. Look, we always talk about men growing up with, like, single moms. And you got to realize something, man. They 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 grow these guys up to be attack dogs. Like I was telling you about the thing with Austin. If you go look at that thing with Austin Holloman again, never watched one of Austin videos, but I support him because he's a man living his life. I don't know Austin like many of you guys probably know, him. but the way that the men were attacking Austin, man, was terrible, and it was all black men. They were attacking Austin so bad, saying things. He's this, and they say, oh, you can't get no women. You're a weak man. And look, this is the weird thing about it. A lot of the dudes were African. And I'm like, are they trying to get a green card? Are they trying to get to the United States? Is that why they, they, they siding with the sister girls? Look, because, I, again, I expect the sister girls to hate on us and to say things because I got women tell me all the time now they, they wish that something happened to me. And I'm like, okay, that's good. I, I don't wish nothing happened to you. I wish you much success. And I, I hope that you win. 
um, in life. I don't want nothing to happen to you, but what they were saying about the guy, they don't really understand the whole movement. We can get any woman we want. Look, let me tell you, sir, I ain't bragging. Damn. Compared to a regular American, I'm rich. You know, I got anything I want. I mean, I, I have everything. A sports car, I got everything I want, but that's nothing. I, now look, let me tell you something, man. Having being rich in the United States or being well off, I would rather be broke in Dominican public. I have videos coming out now, y'all guys gonna see me at my Dominican house with one little air condition, and I'm more happy like that. Only thing I don't like, I got a rooster next door to my house in the DR. The rooster, I done tried to assassinate the rooster like eight times. He got <laughs> that rooster like Tupac. That's what I call it. I'm trying to take him out. I, I can't do it. Rooster play. Shot me five times. Real rooster don't die. <laughs> I'm trying to take the rooster out. I can't do it. No. <laughs> look, even my dog, listen, man, this, this is real talk. I seek my dog in the DR on the rooster. And the and 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 the, and the rooster killed my dog. <laughs> the rooster took my dog Jose out the game, so I got to get another dog. So this this is real talk, brother. Say yeah, I agree. They yeah, they was hating. Look, I never even saw it. Look, I tell you, man, I never even I don't really know Austin Channel like that. But to see people go in on a young brother like that, look, I wish I was traveling when I was twenty three. I'm old enough to be Austin's father. I wish that I was doing that, man. So I'm telling you, man, look, even if you don't <laughs> look, 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 brother saying, look, 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 let me tell you, brother. But to my antifreeze, look, I tried, I tried the antifreeze with the dog, <laughs> with the with, with the rooster. This rooster gangster. Look, the rooster got one eye. <laughs> look, the, the rooster got one eye and the other eye got a line like Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, but I, I don't try to take, I don't try to take them out. <laughs> rooster, it won't go. Look, the rooster when it gets up. Look, this is a great thing about the dr. <laughs> I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make y'all guys laugh. Look, once the rooster start, the motor control start. The whole, the whole neighborhood. Look, I live in a in a, in a Dominican neighborhood, right? It's a real barrio. So once the rooster start, the motor concho start, the whole neighborhood comes alive. And you know, ah, ah, the whole neighborhood, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> the whole neighborhood changes. Everybody's up, all chaos, and I can't go back to sleep. Look, y'all wonder why, I, I, look, all y'all brothers wonder why I drink so much. I try to drink so I don't hit a rooster. <laughs> so man, shout out to you guys with that, man. Look. Yeah, man, look. Yeah, people, look, man, people are jealous. Look, even other YouTubers are jealous of other people winning. Like, I tell men, don't be jealous of anybody. Yeah, that rooster is gangster. Look, man, don't be jealous of anybody doing what they need to do. Uh, excuse me. It's, it's our job to support one another. Any of you guys, I'm telling you, man, any of you guys that got YouTube, whatever, I would try to help you. If you got anything, Facebook groups, I push it because I I come up in a time, bro, that I know and I grew up around men. And the men told us, man, that we need to work together, man. We that's that's one thing that that oh, make some curry chicken. I, hey, bro, I'm going to tell you something. That, that rooster might have diabetes, man. That, that rooster is so messed up. I don't even want to touch it, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Tupac. No man, shout out to you, man. Look, I'm just telling the just telling the truth about the about all the stories and the, and all that, man. I'm just I just tell the truth, man. Look, man, this is what happened, man. I start running with you guys and I get way off the subject of what I really in in intended talking about these different things. But it's good, man. It's the brothers talking, and it's it's, it's all what it is, man. Look, I, again, I don't know a lot about Austin, but he stopped showing some. But let me tell you, man. Even me, let me tell you. At first. I had videos when I showed the women and all that, man. Lead them. Don't show look. Don't do creep cam stuff. And don't you gotta be careful with that, man. It's a it's a balance that you walk. So so me, I try to show a lot of the pretty things with I got a video come out tomorrow. Me and the old lady walking around for the plata. I try to show a lot of the uh, beauty of the DR. And the government even told me you show us in a good light. 
Dominicans reach out to me. <laughs> yeah, man. Look, 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 brother, Bubba, you treat you, you look, you you talking one hundred. Look, anybody who ever lived in the DR, especially in a real Dominican neighborhood, you know what it is with them roosters. <laughs> You know how loud the roosters are there. And the people don't give a damn. Like Dominicans are not like uh America. Look, America, if somebody making noise, you can call the police. You can say, hey, man, they're making a bunch of noise. The Dominican are probably not like that. People don't really look at it. They don't give a damn about no neighbors. They just do what they need to do and they and they go from there. You just gotta I don't got so used to it. I just don't like that. That rooster in the morning. That's look, I could deal with the music all night. I got videos about it. I'm, I'm gonna start showing you guys more and more of this. Hold on, yeah, to man, when you went on fire, <laughs> yo, man, look, let me tell you, two colors. Just, look, people hate, man, look, people hate, man. Yeah, yeah, you look, anywhere you live with around any kind of any anybody from the DR, anybody noted these situations, you know. Look, I dropped it in the, look, I dropped it. Anybody want to hop on, you can hop on. I just dropped it on. I, I ain't going to stay on too long, but any of you guys want to get on, you can get on with me if you want. I know a lot of, I know a lot of you guys, I mean, y'all ain't about to get on no live stream because a lot of you guys got careers. You got they, you definitely can't be on that with a guy like me. I thought talking about clapping cheeks and you work at, you work at Popeye's and the, and the ladies see you work at, all the ladies that, all the ladies that know you working at Popeye to my clapping cheeks, you got a problem. You just left a villa. Yeah, man, let me tell you, man. Them roof, damn, man. They definitely don't give a damn. Somebody trying to get on who this is right here. Let's see. Hey, yo. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Oh, there you go. Truck driving in the house. What's man, up, doing? man? Man, we just chopped it up a little bit, man. I had a good conversation with you last time, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. You hilarious. Hey, any of you brothers that want to hop on, y'all can get on, brother. That's what it's about, man. So, look, what we what we was talking about, man, how fast you can fall in love and fall in love with the wrong woman. But, look, there are good women, too. Like, DR, here's the thing, man. Um, I heard one of my favorite YouTubers the other day talking about um, the girlfriend experience is gone. I understood what he was saying, but he's saying, I understand it. Definitely. And the women just want money. And he's telling kind of the truth. There's women who just want bread from you. They like, soon as they see you, but we, we train them and not us. I'm just saying a lot of men, they come in there and they like, look, I don't have a whole bunch of time. I don't give a damn what Ronan talking about. I don't care what flip flop tailor made. Nobody talking about, I only got four days here. I'm about to bust some cheeks. And if I got to pay her way more than what everybody else talking about, I'm going to do it. But then you got a guy like yourself who say, listen, I ain't trying to get on no trick or nation. I just want to meet a regular chick. <laughs> no, which is true. Look, again, I, I and, and look, what you're saying makes sense because even when I came, I was looking for regular women. Now, look, I ain't going to lie. I got turned out a little bit. <laughs> but I wasn't looking for that. Look, I wasn't looking for that. I was just like, and I, I, I found regular women too, but I also found women who were on the trickeration nation. And you don't really find out at first. And look, Santo Domingo and Susu are different. Susu, you know what it is. But like when you're in when you're in Santo Domingo in a lot of these places, you don't know what the time is. The chick show up and she's like, hey man, you know, I wanna I wanna spend time with you, or whatever. You knock it down, and she like. Hey, can you give me, you know, eighty dollars or whatever? Like, wait, hold on. Well, I bought the food and all that. She's like, no, you know, I'm. You need to pay me something for my time, you know. <laughs> and then you just say, well, you know what, eighty dollars, not that much. You did. I was standing. On <laughs> but you start saying, I was saying, he, he, like Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, all right, you take the eighty dollars. Go ahead with it. So. This is how these things start. But what you think, brother? Run, run it with me. What you think? Uh, as far as what exactly? As far as why you think men get caught up in this? Um, instead of finding, why you think men men like the trickeration nation and not really finding a real girlfriend? What do you think it is? 
Um, honestly, I'm gonna say yeah. Be honest. Look, we I, brothers. Look, we all brothers. It's 142 people watching. We just brothers kicking it. Let me know why you think. <laughs> just, just keep it. I, look, we can honestly, keep it real think, here. I'm, I'm gonna say this. I think when in, in any situation in life, if yeah. you keep running to a brick wall, a brick wall with something, mm -hmm. you get burnt out after a minute. And sometimes yeah. you, when you experience trauma mm -hmm. to a, a, a de extreme degree, it it can uh, warp the way you approach things and deal with things. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And like uh, when. You, I'm I'm gonna try to make this analogy make sense, right? Why do yeah, people make twelve? Why do people make thirteen dollars an hour? Let me know. Because they, they don't know how to, they don't know yeah. how to make fifty dollars an hour. Yeah, that's real talk. If if they knew how to make a hundred dollars an hour, they'd be making that instead of making a minimum wage. You understand what I'm saying? So people yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what they can. So when you don't know the process, you don't know how to get from point A to point B. You just kind of sit. You uh, you stay in this area. This area you hover, uh, mm -hmm. miserably comfortable. You're not quite where you want to be. And you're you're not doing as bad as you could be doing. So it's like this area of stagnation where it's just like this is it's like a ceiling's right there, and you don't know how to get yeah. past that ceiling. So you just you accept you settle for what's available to you. Like Damn, this is you, all I can get. You talking this true. This is all I can get to happen, so I'm just gonna rock with this. I can't figure nothing else out, and it may not, maybe it's not for me to have more than this or to do more than this. So yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. gonna stay right here. And a lot of people in all avenues of life approach life like that because they think uh, if when they face an obstacle or a challenge that it's a sign, like you know, uh, you you've heard the saying before, I'm sure, where it's like you know. Uh, somebody wants to accomplish a goal and then some obstacles come up and then a person might be like, well, I guess it wasn't meant to be, I guess, uh, God didn't want me to have this, you know? Oh I mean? yeah. I've it's heard not, that a lot. It, it's not in God's plans. Otherwise I wouldn't have these obstacles and these challenges to face. So come on, brother. I'm from the, look, I'm from the deep <laughs> South. You know, that's how we talk. <laughs> I'm from the deep south. Look, there's a plantation down the road. I'm from the deep south, man. So I understand. Yeah. But you know, I got a that a lot of people chat. have that mentality where it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's real talk. They they uh, just man, stuff. Just, and they, yeah, they don't man, have the they don't have real. the leadership and they don't have the leadership and the guidance. That's another thing too. Like everything that we do that we know how to do, somebody showed you how to do it. You speak English because somebody taught you how to speak English. Yeah, that's real. Right. Yeah, yeah. When you when you went to school and you went through the process of going through these classes, people were showing you how to do that. So you're people only do what they're taught to do. So if you never mm -hmm. had the tutelage to understand how to handle women or to deal with women, you're not going to be good at it. And then you made Man, some you points earlier. Real. You made some points earlier where you talk about the music. When you look at the music and the movies, in all the movies, the guys that are doing what they simping in R and B. Well, at least R and B back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> they uh, they're talking about like they're begging and shit. I, yeah, you know, boys and men to the ill in the yeah, road. Yeah, yeah. A, in boys, the, it to the end of the road. Yeah, that the nigga the road. in that song apologizing for his girl cheating on him. I'm sorry, baby. If you just come back, yeah, yeah. I just want you to know this that you know when they yeah, yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 the whole God, along no. in the middle of the song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 brothers is just oh man. Let me tell you, bro, what, you're talking look, real talk. When when I was younger, I used to hate R and B. Like as a younger man, I didn't start really getting into it when I was older. Yeah. And what made me get into it is that I realized that these R and B guys were just lying. Like they don't believe. Yeah, yeah. They're just singing these songs because it sells records, and that's what women want to hear. But that's not what women actually want. That's real talk. Real you talk. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, okay, so Casey, I don't, for clarity, I do not condone, uh, <laughs> I do not condone domestic violence. But I'm like, okay, yeah. Casey out here beating the shit out of women, I see. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He is not living them songs. So yeah, he's uh, whooping he Mary J. Blige up. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. I was he like, oh, okay. Balls on, you know? 
Yeah, and, and like, we don't oh, we don't condone. Look, we don't condone um men putting their hands on them. But even yeah. James Bond did. Sean Sean Connery was on the thing. He's I smack shit out of him. <laughs> so yeah, so people definitely do that. We got all oh, got the brother back in the building. What's up, brother? Hey, how you doing? Got another brother in the building. What's up, brother? What's going on? Look, guys? let me read this this read this super chat right here by Jay. Brother Jay, appreciate it, man. Love the channel. Cannot wait. Oh man, look. Brother Jay, hit me up whenever you coming. I will meet up with you, man. Maybe we're gonna have some wings, go drink some beer. Man, shout, shout out, out to, to you, brother. Yeah, man. Shout look, look, I meet up with brothers all the time, man. I have such a good time with the brotherhood, man. I I, I definitely want to see us win. Look, brother, you got a YouTube channel, man. Put it out there. Let, let, let everybody know. I don't know you got one or not. <laughs> yeah. brothers on YouTube, put it out there. Yeah, I got a YouTube channel. It's unlimited. Yeah, put cam. it out there, man. Let the brothers know. Unlimited and then K with a cam. I have two. Unlimited K with a cam and yeah. then unlimited cam reacts. Those are my two YouTube channels. Oh, man, that's good. Brother got two of them, man. You, you <laughs> no, I'm, I'm working. I'm working. But um, I'm 24, so and I've been traveling for a while now. And I just stumbled oh. upon your channel because my mom is from Dominican Republic and has I've been okay. going to Santo Domingo the past year. And I was like, maybe I should, you know, show Santo Domingo. And I stumbled on yours and um, a brother Flip from, uh, I believe he's in South Sua. Yeah, yeah, he was, he's in North Coast. Yeah. Sua. yeah, yeah. But I saw yours here in Santo Domingo. I was like, oh, perfect. Because I I've gone to Santo Domingo maybe three times last year. This year, yeah. I think I've been overdoing it. I'm going probably like, I'm going twice this month, three times next month. Oh, just... Santo Domingo. <laughs> Santo Domingo is awesome. It's a, it's, it's a great place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, it, it really is. But and then again, just speaking to kind of the topic, yeah, mm -hmm. you, you'll see that a lot there. And my cousins, they're around the same age as me. So like the mm -hmm. 20, 24 range. So they go to school over there. Yeah. And even like when I last time I was there, they tried to hook me up with somebody. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm very like, I'm not gonna say a scary person, but I already know people's intentions, especially since I'm American and yeah. Like I'm, I'm a high earner here in America. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. Like I'm an engineer. I make six figures. So, and I'm young. So even back home, some of the girls know what I mean. Oh, yeah. And they're even, I get older women coming after me too, because of the, the money I'm making in this field. Yeah. So it's, I go over there and imagine if I'm making here a six figure over there, it's crazy. So they already on my ass. Oh man, over there, you are, <laughs> you are a millionaire. <laughs> Basically. So it's like, I'm like, oh, I'm always like distant, but you know, they ask you for a laptop, a computer, you know, phones. It's it's just part of it, and you just kind of got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Look, 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 I need look, a look, computer. Look. I know he <laughs> said they look. they asking you to put you, the truth. Uh, put them on a uh to put to have them uh put on your life insurance and shit like that. Well, go ahead, just add me to your uh, yeah. policy. Yeah, no, nah, just it, it's real, especially when you, especially even like again here in America, sometimes I get people trying to. Ask me yeah. for why don't you pay for my nails? Are you telling me to get my nails done? I'm like, not my problem, man. I'm sorry, yeah, <laughs> I can't help you. Even people my age, are like, oh, you don't want to have a relationship, you don't want to be a relationship. I'm like, nah, dog, I'm not gonna have nothing here. If I am gonna have like a major relationship and children, I already told myself I'm gonna do it in islands. I already told yeah, myself, yeah, islands better, man, yeah. just a better thing. But at the, you know, but what you're saying, true, but the laptop, man. <laughs> <laughs> That is like, that's so Dominican for a woman to ask you for a laptop. Look, any man that's here, man, I met this chick. I said, did she ask you for a laptop? <laughs> that's how I know a man telling the truth. Women are saying, right, can you bring your laptop for me? For me? It's part of my e-hole. Look, look, no, 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 no. I don't have no laptop. Yeah. that's what. So I know you're talking some real stuff. Just for you saying that, I know that you're talking. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it yeah, always starts yeah. off with a story, too. Like, oh, you know. Yeah class school and then again they're around the same age so it's i don't know the age 18 to 22 because yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. age of my cousins so that's all the females that i'm talking to yeah. over there are between those ages so yeah. it's it's always stuff dealing with school like ah oh, you know i like need an ipad and stuff like it's always one of those things yeah, or hey, my dad just died yeah it's just laptop or cell, or cell phone. phone yeah facts yeah yeah, that's that man. That's true. Yeah, you always want something, but I like I don't have nothing for you. But you know what? I see D and bubble gum, <laughs> and I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> that's what I got for you. But yeah, I understand, man. I, I definitely understand because we are listen. We are more wealthy. We're doing better. 
then you know and look men are winning even in the united states that that old 1980s color purple stuff about melanated brothers don't have nothing is out of the window we're doing phenomenal that's the thing man we got to control our image because other people put us like they're using the old data and you look at the data right now man we're winning we're doing very good the brother he's an engineer you 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 got a truck drop man i'm a real estate guy we're yeah. winning we're winning it's not our fault that women in the united states can't see it it's not our fault you know we're winning. no it's it's a sad state and again you're yeah. telling somebody like me dude and like i worked hard i studied my ass off to yeah, go to young school. brother I, I i was a plumber to pay for my mm -hmm. school to become an engineer and I remember a long time ago, this is kind of what woke me up. I was 20 and I had a pickup van because, you know, I was a plumber. I was doing that full time and paying for school. Yeah. And a girl wanted to get in my van, even though I was paying for the dinner. Damn. And that Jeez. broke me, boy. But I was, again, I was I'm 20 years man. old and that, that woke me up. I said, oh, yeah, I was done. And just was there from then on, just hard working and just keeping to myself, basically. Man, that, that's man, they don't that's understand, the man. <laughs> look, look, I heard I heard. heard great kevin samuels talking about that about you know women seeing blue collar men and not having really respect for them looking at look i'm a blue collar guy man i i made all my money the hard way i, I got it look and one thing my father told me man he tried to get me to go your route going through school and all that but i didn't want to listen i went to <laughs> trade school and my dad said look either you're going to use your brain or you're going to use your head i mean or, or your or your hands and he said all right i see you want to use your hand you're going to do it the hard way it was a harder way but I still went there and I, I, I've been highly successful. I made over six figures for years, but mm -hmm. I know how to do it. And I try to tell younger guys how to do it. Some don't want to listen. Look, I'm telling you guys again, this, any guy that listening in my lives, I've said this by the hood, by the hood, buying um, our hood and, and gender finding it myself has made me a lot of money. And I tell you guys, man, and I've been able to help our people by getting them, helping people to be first time home buyers, helping black families to move in something they probably wouldn't even qualify for. But they moving into a brand new place. I'm able to do it. And this is the thing that we need to do. So I'm, I'm about to do the same thing in DR. Maybe I might build a a uh, 20 units. I'm working. On, I mean, we got to mm -hmm. get things working, man. Brothers are handling their business. These are things, man. So these kind of interactions are what more men need to see brothers talking positive doing good things nobody calling each other names we might not agree on nothing but we, what we do agree on that we need to be treated better you know and that's that's one thing that we all have in common so salute to you brothers man yeah no it's a big thing like you said it's it's respect too as well and most mm -hmm. people don't have it and i grew up with my grandparents my grandparents mainly raised me my parents were working all the time so yeah. I always like enjoy talking to older people and just to get the game as well. And I took longer yeah. for me to finish school because I was working. And like you said, when you guys start working, I always tell people this. Like I told my little brother, I say, yo, go try to be a plumber, try electrician first before you go to school. Because mm -hmm. when you see how hard it is to do that, I, yeah. wanted, I wasn't a good student when I was in high school. I was a C student. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I was working outside. Almost, I fell off a roof once. I was doing, I said, hey. Guess what? I was three point. I was B's and A's from their that point <laughs> in college because yeah, I said, yeah, no, I, I don't want to do this no more. Man, it's hard yeah, work. Cutting my hand, I got a scar on my arm. I cut myself with a razor. You know, it's just it's dangerous out there on the field. Guess what? Now I sit in the office and I type. <laughs> no, <laughs> but like, that this tells me you're smart. <laughs> Listen, that tells me you're smart. Look, hey, that's how you I, do it. I didn't learn that quick, man. Look, I worked offshore. I was a welder. I did all. Okay. I went through hell. <laughs> Yeah. It took me to go through hell till I finally say, look, and my father told me about real estate when I was very young. Mm -hmm. We riding through a place called Tipito, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. There's plantations everywhere. And I'm telling you, man, they had, I mean, this is not no dig at, at, at black people. They still had black people. This is in the 80s, man. I'm a little kid. They still had people working the land in the 80s. And my dad stopped the truck, man, real talk. My dad said, look at this. Look, take a look around. And I'm looking. I got my fucking He-Man in my arm and, and my Optimus Prime. <laughs> and my dad said, look, 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 look. He said, and look, I'm telling you, he took it so serious. Like, he, he turned to like James Earl Jones. He smacked everything on my hand. He wanted me to get this moment. He said, see this? 
He said, you see, whoever owned the land, owned the people on the land. Boy, you need to own some land. Make sure you do. Make sure you buy properties and make sure. He was telling me the real deal about how things work. And it took me years to finally grasp what my dad was telling me. The land is the game. When you mm -hmm. own it, you own the game. And it ch I changed my life by buying real estate, and buying houses and doing that. I went from working here to being able to live the life I always wanted by me doing that. I'm telling you, man. It's, 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 so I try to tell young brothers now, buy up anything you can. And look, shout out to my Latino brothers. I'm seeing people coming from Honduras. They buying the property. They buying. They buy. They like buy the properties, you know. But it's it's hard to get us to understand this stuff, man. You know, I'm telling you, it's hard for us to get to uh, see that. But it's here. Steve, what you think about it, Steve? Running with, running with it. Uh, exactly what again? <laughs> no, what? Just, just, just run with it. I, I just, I just, I just passed the ball to you. What you think about it? About what you said? Unity yeah, about everything. real estate or whatever you're gonna be doing, like of, of whatever. Yes, all, all of that. We need to be doing all of that. We need to get on the same page, and we need to understand we don't have to agree on everything for us to yeah. build and for us to do business together. There are business when there are businessmen all across the world who do not have the same religious beliefs, do not have the same standards for family, do not have the same ideology for how they handle or deal with individuals or people, but they do business together because it's more important to be on the uh, to establish yourself in this world. Where did Ronan go? He disappeared. Uh, I think he just went behind scene, but. Just to continue okay. off what he said, yeah, keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we don't have to agree on everything to work together. It's not necessary for us to agree on everything to work together. And we can all benefit and learn something from one another. You can learn something from anyone. Yeah. Uh, pretty much is what I would say. Uh, but in America, I think part of the issue is, is people – and Rona spoke to this earlier. People don't know how to think for themselves at all. People are taught how to think, how to look at things. They're given uh, kind of like a lens to look at the world through. And as long as they continue to look at the lens, look at the world through the lens that they were given, they won't. They'll be limited to what they can do. Like you've done an amazing job to be so young. And to have back so in the building, discipline. go ahead with it. Keep running it. And to have so Thank much you. structure, like I applaud you. I'm proud of you, man. And Thank that's you. like you did it, you're doing it the way you're supposed to be doing it. Mm -hmm. And you got a level head on your shoulders and all that good stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, and you're an example of what Ronan was talking about earlier, where you put the focus on yourself. You make sure you're, you make sure that you're good first. Self-preservation is key. And then once you get everything in order in your own house, then you can start reaching out and helping other people build. Or you can start collaborating, building with other people and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. No, that's real, man. Because let me tell you, that's what we need. We need more brothers like you, like in our community. We like, we the only community. Look, we the only community that lets anybody talk for it. I don't care if it's a stand-up comedian. We're the we're the Chinese DL Hughley speaking. Like it's the weirdest thing for me. Like, and I'm not knocking DL. You know, I agree with something they say, but we the only community to let anybody <laughs> speak for it. We need our best and brightest speaking for us. Like I like me, I'm not the best and brightest. I shouldn't speak for the black community. I that's not who what I am, but a person like you. Should speak for the back, um, for the for the black community. We got a super chat, man. Shout out to you, bro. You say you going to Santo Domingo, man. Look, hit me up. Look, hit me up at Ronan the One End Traveler at gmail.com. My brother, hit me up. I can shoot you in the right direction. I'm about to have surgery again, so I won't be. Look, I can barely kind of walk right now, so I'm having my second surgery. But this is a good discussion. But I want to ask you something, brother. Um, let me know something like, so you say you've been going to Santo Domingo. So who like, 
what has been your experience dealing with some of the women going on? Have you been on any dates with, with any of the women? And what yeah. has been your experience doing this? I, um, hear it, I would say it's two things for me, because mm -hmm. when I was younger, you know, I again, I'm from Miami. So I was yeah. born and raised in Miami. This is our culture. I went to a school in Miami. I went to Alapata Middle School. I went to Alonzi Tracy Morningside High. So most of everyone there is like we're all like caribbean or like hispanic yeah. or one of those things i tell people this all the time i didn't know any black americans till i went to yeah. college and i was like where are your family from they're like louisiana i'm like how about your grandparents louisiana i was like whoa what because <laughs> you yeah, ask anyone yeah. down there hey where's your parents from oh jamaica this that or my grandma's yeah. from here like everyone like no one i knew grandparents spoke english my yeah. grandparents don't speak english <laughs> so mm -hmm. it was it was a culture shock as well you know going up north but I would say it's two things to me is you're dealing with a different aspect of people and they're just more mm -hmm. feminine. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. But also things they, they know, especially me, like I'm American, I have money, so I'm treated a little bit differently, better yeah, than you my, treated yeah. Better. Cause they, you know, okay, he's here. He's here all the time. I see fly here once a month. <laughs> so I was like, okay, he must have some bread. And then my yeah, cousin, yeah. he's doing some talking. Oh, he's a, he's an engineer. So he does all <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Next, you know, I'm getting <laughs> random WhatsApps. I'm like, who's these people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll say that that's the biggest thing it is just speaking to them and it's just more feminine up front. And they're not, they will have the conversations like, I'm not a prostitute. I'm not this. I'm not that. I don't want to be used. Like, I want a real relationship. That's what I get a lot. They just like, I want a real relationship. I want this and that. No, and because just, look, yeah. you're telling the truth. Look, regular women hate. Look, I live with a principal. Regular women hate like prostitutes. Yeah. They hate mango. They will tell you, like, let me tell you, my old lady won't even go on to sue a strip with me. If I got, <laughs> hey, I'm going over here. I have to make her. I like, hey, come with me. You want to come with me? And you don't <laughs> want to come, you stay at the house. Mm -hmm. They don't even want to be seen on the strip with that. Now, look, I'm not saying Dominicans don't understand what other people are doing. But mm -hmm. they like educated women don't want to be a part of that. You know, they don't want to be have nothing to do with it. Now me, my, myself, I don't mm -hmm. knock it. I don't dealt with all of them. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't knock it. Like I was saying earlier, I fell into the pudding. <laughs> I didn't choose the pudding. <laughs> look, 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 I didn't choose the pudding. The pudding chose me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I, I understand, man. So, but look, I'm, I'm gonna tell people, man. Santo Domingo is it's, it's big, man. Oh yeah, man, Santo big. Domingo, it's awesome. I, I I love Santo Domingo more than any place on the island. Mm -hmm. It's 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 one of the it's so beautiful, man. Zona Colonial is just beautiful. Just on I mean, Santo Domingo, SA, every every place, just I I love it. I just I, I really love San, Santo Domingo. Was the first place I landed in mm -hmm. Dominican Republic. I fell in love with it instantly. Mm -hmm. All the people, everything. Um, I the good, the bad. The stop. Oh man, you need let me tell you something, brother. You will love Santo Domingo, Steve. You, you will love it. Any you haven't been, Steve? Been, no, Steve ain't going uh, yet. You haven't been? That's nah, crazy, nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. I'm in a I I'm gonna be there. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there for a little bit when I get there. Okay, so when okay. I, when I show up. It ain't gonna be for like a week or nothing like that. Like I'm yeah. gonna be out there for some months. Okay, okay. Something like that to be for. But Steve, this is this is what it's about. You already uh, getting familiar with it, and, and, and let me tell you, Steve. Women will try to marry you immediately. Yeah. Women will try to they will try to show you, man. Santo Domingo just so good, man. And um, a woman will see you. They gonna see, man. This is a good looking guy. He's doing this, doing that. I. Why don't you be my whole bun? You <laughs> with all this guy. <laughs> my whole bun. <laughs> she would treat you like a king. But look, this is what this video was about. Men take that from the first woman they see and they fall in love. They done. They done. Don't be Bingo. that guy, Steve. It that happens a nah, lot. Nah, 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 yeah. nah. That happens a lot. Nah, you see. Yeah, I'm I'm sure it does, but nah, that's not my uh Nah, Steve seemed like a smart guy. Like he ain't gonna let that happen my to him. My, my DNA is not quite like that, but I would say yeah. like, first, let me say this right. So like, 
when when you deprive the stuff, yeah, like, yeah, that's all you can think about. Like so, yeah. if if you uh, let's say you don't have clean water, right? We all need water, but if you don't have clean water, the only <laughs> thing you can ever think about is having water. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. So when you don't, we don't have the things available to you that you need or that you want like that you get hard up for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. stuff like you yeah. you almost are willing to accept anything and it's the same thing with yeah. women with mm-hmm. uh dudes and women and stuff like that it's like they're not used to knowing how to handle women deal with women and i mean like actual women because you got like you know i understand what you're saying <laughs> Yeah, I understand. Let me tell you, brother. Look, like you, hey, you get, it's a problem got, out there. You, yeah, it's a problem. It's kind of like you said. It's kind of like what you said with the color purple thing earlier on, there, where it's just like, or uh, back. I won't say back in the day, because it's kind of still like that now, where you said Big Mama ran everything, and that's the example. Yeah. And I don't know if you remember, but the last live we was on, or I was on with you, like I was talking about, like most most of the people in America are raised by women. No, you're right. All they understand is women being in charge. And yeah. I was explaining how, like, if you come across a woman, and any, and this could be anywhere in the world, but if all she knows is a woman being in charge and the one giving the orders and uh, running everything, when a man shows up and he takes that position, that's abrasive to her. Yeah, yeah. They take was, Hold on, Steve. That I got to mess with you. <laughs> Mess with me. What's up? But the Rob, but the Rob said that first one gonna put the hook in you. <laughs> he said what? Now look, Rob been there. He said that first one gonna put the hook in you, <laughs> and you gonna be drunk. Now look, now look, now look. Ain't nothing interesting. I have, I have saw it happen with brothers like listen. Brothers, look. I don't talk to so many brothers like yeah. Man. He had a plan. You look, look. Mike Tyson said this. Everybody have have a plan till they get punched. Did they get punched in the face, right? <laughs> that's right. Listen, I told so many dudes that tell me, "Hey, man, yeah." When I come over here, next thing I see, he walking around with the woman. Hey, Rona, man, she good people. <laughs> <laughs> here, but Shut you with that ride. same one the whole you weekend. <laughs> yeah, man. Here, here's the here, here's now, the look, caveat to that, though, right? Steve, now look, I'm giving you your props. You seem like a smart brother. So I, yeah. I'm going to give you your props. That. It's easier said than done. That's yeah, what I was yeah, saying. Yeah. It's I, easier I, said I than going, done. They can be going, very persuasive. What I, was going, <laughs> what I was going to say, though, is I'm not desperate here in America. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to be desperate in Dominican Republic. That ain't yeah, that's real. Nothing. Yeah, like, no, that's you know real. What I'm saying? I respect that. <laughs> That's like no, but here's the thing. They think that all men are desperate. Listen, hey man, listen. Do you think this is what I try to get women to understand this? Do you think a man who's a truck driver or engineer or well, real estate? Do you think any of us are desperate? That's the thing that people don't understand. Ain't none of us are desperate. Look, shout out to the military guys. <laughs> These guys get a hundred percent. You'd be surprised, man. Be... Gay women are crazy. I was... I will say this though. No, it'd be some desperate dudes out here, man. Trust mm-hmm. me. <laughs> it, yeah, it'd be. Oh, some, it'd it'd be I, I, I know. I know dudes who made twice as much as me, and they just out here. I'm like, are you? Yeah, no, 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 no. Listen, the reason why we got a lot of women who talk like that delusion is there are men who, who run that. behind women. Yeah. Stop the cap. No, I ain't capping. I'm telling you the truth. Stop the cap. <laughs> It's true. You got a lot of men who do that kind of stuff. You know, people are, I'm not capping. You got a lot of you got a lot of men who are thirsty. But 100 percent telling you. Yeah, 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 man. No. Yeah. Man, I enjoy stuff like this with us running it and, and just and just talking like that. But I I would tell men all the time to run. Run the, the brothers say, look, simps are the problem. Look, a lot of simps are the problem. I mean, that's the it's the truth. It's just they take I think they take too long to to get the like the wake up call. Yeah. And that's and especially too, it depends who your, your parents are and, and oh, or your grandparents. So that that's another big yeah. thing because again, I got my father, I got my grandfather. My grandfather yeah. got like got like 12, 15 kids. <laughs> again, they're both both sides. Yeah. Both my grandfathers got over 15 kids. Yeah, yeah. Different islands. So 
they hear you crying about one. They like, man, you don't, you don't get up out of here and move on with your life. That's so real. And you got to yeah. hear that. So it's unfortunate. Some of these people, they grow up with their mom and they got like yeah. a bunch of half brothers and their mom is always mm -hmm. that dominating figure. And I mm -hmm. see it personally with friends of mine. Like they're emotional about certain things. They can't oh, get rid of certain things in their mind. They they mad that their girl has a new boyfriend and they just fighting. They want to do weird. I'm just like, bro, man, move on, move on. And but the number one problem is they're too scared to leave the house. And when I mean that, they're too scared to leave the city. They're too scared to go. Like I just I was yeah, in New York yeah. all week last week by myself. Oh, this was up. And they, you know, oh, why you like traveling by yourself, man? Don't you get lonely? What? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't travel. I don't travel. Cause just because I have a girlfriend, that means I gotta travel with her every city. No, you don't have to do that. Travel for yourself, travel mm. because you like to do it. No, no, yeah, you're talking real, man. Like, uh -uh. yeah, that's a one. You gotta have your own goals, your own plan. man. I go to the separate. movie, yeah, thing you gotta be for you by you myself. Any movie I want to see, I go Sunday in the morning, I get my mm -hmm. chocolate raisins from Target, and I go, I go watch the first 11 30, 12 o'clock, and that's what I do. Man, look, I'm impressed by you, brothers. Y'all are talking real stuff, and that's how you're supposed to be, man. Dudes don't know how to do it, man. Let me tell you, dude, they just don't understand. Cats are so weak in the game, man. That's why I, I love this when we can sit there and talk. And look, they what y'all are doing right now, that's, that's why I tell y'all guys, put your YouTube out. Men will watch this. I have almost 14,000 subscribers. Everybody will watch this. They will they will see this. And these are good things. And the, and the reason why I love it so much, because this lives on. We don't realize, listen. We live in the technology. This might be going for 30 years. <laughs> you don't know yeah, how many that's true. people will watch this 30 years later. You yeah, don't know like, how many people lives you're saving right now. So we need to always keep that in mind. You know, you're saving so many. You know how many brothers going to be like you or him or whatever like me? And they said, man, you know what? Man, they hear that a lot of guys don't have. Look, if we don't change the game the way America going, a lot of men won't even have fathers. You yeah. might be somebody's father, uh, is, is, is what I'm saying, is somebody's father figure. Somebody might learn from hearing you talk. Now, I'm going to do it yeah, either. I was going to say, yeah, like, I learned a lot yeah. of the game just from being around older men when I was yeah. growing up. And they, they weren't my father, but mm -hmm. they were father-like figures. And they, yeah, they carried talk. themselves like men. They weren't whining. They didn't complain and shit like that. Like, they did what needed to be done when it needed to be done, and that was it. Like it wasn't a yeah. conversation. Yeah, but they listened the more. I feel back then because the people my age they don't listen, man. I was patient. I I grabbed all the mentors. I still stand. It's hard, you know. These guys are older. We got age. One of my mentors is sixty. <laughs> he got yeah, me three really times hard. over. So for yeah. me to like our, our thing is like the Dolphins. We both love the Dolphins. He's been a Dolphin fan for over fifty <laughs> years. I, you know, I was born and raised in Miami, so I'm a Dolphins fan as well. So Miami gotta, was up. You, you got to do like little things to get around to get to know those mentors, and you got to actually listen to what they say. So like Ronan, he said, "Buy stuff in the hood." I don't have any real estate yet. That's something I'm looking forward to doing the next three years is get into real estate. So mm -hmm. Ronan would be someone I listen to. Okay, buying the hood. I didn't grow up in the hood. I grew up in the suburbs, so I got to figure yeah. out. Okay, where's the hood? Do I go to Miami Gardens? Do I go to Little Haiti? Do I go to Alapala? Where do I go Liberty for those neighborhoods to buy stuff? Yeah, no, nah, I don't. Uh, I don't go over there. <laughs> all that's up now. <laughs> that that's all up. Everything over that's... there is up. <laughs> but you may but have I'm to move more to Pablo and Margate. Yeah. No, but this is what I want people to realize: where we live at is the money. Why do you think all people, when they first come to the United States, come where we at? Yeah. I don't care if they're Arabs. I don't care if they're Africans. I don't care what they are. They come where we at. We are the economy. But we don't realize it. And like, I'm telling you something. By the hood. Mm -hmm. My life changed. Look, what you got to find is neighborhood like this, man. You find a neighborhood that's not a war zone. But <laughs> yeah, exactly. have, <laughs> hey, look, this is how I made all my money. And look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. A, a, a white dude showed me the most of the game. Look, I was at, um, I'm sitting um, in a, in a, church one time and a white guy he worked at a cable company white dude he just running it with me and he took a liking to me because me and him would talk a lot he said listen man, this is where all the money at in the church we at he said look this is all the money at so what you mean I said man it's all run now messed up he said no man this neighborhood will be good he said come get in the truck with me I'm like get in the truck with you <laughs> 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 but, but he was a real cat look 
I get it in the I get in the truck with Carl and then with Carl. Carl. Carl, look, I ain't gonna get in the truck with him because he wore tight ass pants. Like, man, your pants too tight. But I get in the truck with him. He rolled me around, listen. And he bought me on the street. And he said, he said, look, look right here. That's where all the white people live. This is where all the black people live. It was one street. Mm-hmm. He said, you buy these houses right here. Where all the black people live, all the white people will move in, and all the black people with money will move in. And he was right. So mm-hmm. I took that one street. Let me tell you, he said, that's the house you buy. There was a bunch of cats selling that selling that stuff of out course. there. Cats was hustling. He said, that's the house you buy. And he gave me the game. He said, look, you know how much that house costs? I said, how much? He said, they only want $35,000 for this house. He said, this house is $35,000. I said, man, $35,000? He said, man, you buy that house right there for 35 it would change your life. A white man told me that. I looked at the house, dudes out there with sagging pants and walking around twitching their hair with guns, everything. Yeah. And you know, that's the house I bought. And I I I, I got with a realtor. I didn't even really have the money. And my credit was low. My credit was like probably at the time. I, I probably had a 600. But they sold me the house. I bought that. That was my first house. Bought that house, man. And we talking about before we talking about women. But we talk, look, this is real talk. That's what this channel about. It's about overcoming and getting better. And look, the more your finances grow, the better your women get. Believe me, I'm telling you. So oh, I bought that one house, evict these people. I had to look, I also had to give them a thousand dollars to move. I bought that house, redo um, redone little things in it and sold it and made a bunch of money. And from then on, I ain't, I, I never looked back. And that's, this is the thing I'm trying to tell people. So I even took young brothers from the neighborhood and tried to teach them. But they would go home to their mamas and their mamas oh, telling yeah. them different. They don't have no daddies. I tried to talk to them. Look, brother, I will help you. And look, only a few. I have a few now that I'm still close with. Trying to teach these young guys how to persevere and make money and how to do things, man. But I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, this is the way to go. This is it. I have a question. What what would you um, suggest for, for example, because I, I live in Miami, so mm-hmm. everything here is expensive. So I'm always like, I've been looking in like Georgia, like Atlanta area, like not too far, like the Ackworth area, like West. Um, but I don't know these areas because I was always born and raised in South Florida. So yeah, that's why I have is. issues with. Yeah, but South Florida markets is super high. Everything's expensive. Well, what, we'll, go to, we'll go to Pensacola. Pensacola. I've been to Pensacola mm-hmm. many times. That Pens- that North Florida area, you still make a lot of money. But let me tell you where where you can make a lot of money at. People, this is real game. I tell y'all guys, man. Mississippi is a place you can make a lot of money in. Okay. Buy up Mississippi. One of my um, good friends right now is a seventy year old, probably seventy five year old white man, and he owns so much of Jackson, Mississippi. But just any place in Mississippi, anywhere in the South, that's not look. Florida is the South, but it's not the South. It's not the South. I tell you the South all the time. Florida <laughs> is the Caribbean. You know, what I mean? yeah. Florida <laughs> is the Caribbean. So, um, any like let's at least say from Atlanta, uh, Orlando on down, that's that's the Caribbean. So I'm telling <laughs> you, um, you stick to like. Um, don't go to don't go to Georgia because Georgia is booming. Mississippi, Louisiana, man, you make a lot of money, man. I'm gonna tell you, you make a lot of money. We're spending forty or fifty thousand dollars. You make a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, lot of money, man. What you think about Oklahoma? I, I don't really know those territory. Your truck. This is why you here. <laughs> you can expand yeah. on that. I, I don't know. I, I I heard something. What mm-hmm. I heard is that in Oklahoma, it was a, that uh, since a lot of people don't want to live there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Uh, the housing is very affordable. Like you but, can find, I mean, like, that's another really, place. Some really good houses out there. Like you use Miami as example. That's where you're from. Where like you know, I don't. I'm guesstimating. I don't know. But actually, I use California as an example. Right? Well, look, hold on. So, like the brother it, say, hold on. The brother say, Jackson, Jackson so damn. So right damn right. But that's the look. That's, that's the, the key. Point. That's the point. Listen, y'all ever watch that? Look, let's let's talk about this. Y'all watch that Boondocks episode? Y'all. y'all Y'all watch the Boondocks? Yes. Mm-hmm. On the Boondocks, they had a burger called a Luther. <laughs> and Luther, and so many people were eating at Luther. They went down. They, they bought the whole park area down. So the white man named was Winsler, 
and wanted this. He helped Robert. Robert is the granddad. He helped Robert establish his business. So the business took off so much. Now, look, the man, Mr. Winslow, don't give a damn about the business, but it helped the whole area go down so they was able to buy it cheap, just like Jackson. So if Jackson goes down, that's when the that's when the investors come in and buy it. We want, like, as an investor, now I'm a black guy. I don't want my areas to be bad, but because I have that 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 loyalty to the race. But a white man, my them brothers don't have no loyalty. Don't give a damn about none of that. He want the whole area to go down. You know, you want the whole area to go down. Well, well, yeah, New Orleans is the Caribbean too. I, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a, we we are part of the Caribbean. Like, listen, like he was talking about his grandparents. I didn't say anything, but my grandparents spoke French. They spoke this. So look, so my grandparents Real. spoke. They spoke not a not the. They didn't speak the uh, Haitian. Not Creole, Haitian Creole. But we have our own Louisiana Creole. They spoke. They spoke this. And it's a mixture of some words of Spanish, some words of African, some words of French. They yeah. speak their own thing. So my grandparents spoke like that too. But you know, I don't really worry about it. It's, it's what it is. But I'm telling you, they want the neighborhoods to go down so they can come in and buy it cheap. That's yeah. the biggest part of the game. You let that neighborhoods go down, and this is what people don't understand. You got you got gang members fighting for stuff they don't own. I hit gang members all the time. You don't own it. I'm from the 300s. I'm from the 200s. Man, you ain't from nothing. You know, it's, it's on us to to buy this stuff, man. So does a brother say Jackson? But yeah, Jackson might be very bad, but it's for sale. Everything in America is for sale. Yeah. Everything. It's for sale, man. It's for sale. No, you're 100% right on that. Mm-hmm. And I know you're getting surgery in a, in a few weeks, but I think I'll mm-hmm. probably... I know I'm coming next week, but maybe I got to make sure I get in contact with you somehow or join your membership to have your number. No, you uh, have my number, man. Look, right now, again, I'm hitting it everybody right now. <laughs> my, <laughs> no, Ronan, the wandering traveler at gmail.com. Remember, my thing is for all the brothers for us to win. And my group is the Blue Book Pass. Look, you can't get me with no look. The Blue Book Passport Cartel is a group I started for men who would who would be traveling and they come because look, when I went to Santo Domingo my first time, I'm supposed to go with these other dudes. They don't show up. One of the dudes kill himself. Thank God bless wow. him. Wow. Because his old lady, he found out his old lady messing with a man in Angola. The man was and like he just uh it's it's, it's a whole different thing. Love that brother. He was one of, look, the guy was one of the best artists. I ever met in my life. He was a he could have been he, when I when I tell you we we are full of so much potential as men, especially black men. We have so much potential that we don't tap into. Untapped potential, yeah. Uh, so much untapped potential. Because listen, we have too many activists and not enough business. So that's why I respect a man like you. I respect a brother like Steve. We take in the bull by the I respect brothers like you because too many men are sitting on the sideline twiddling their thumbs, but y'all brothers out here doing what they need to do, man. So shout out to you, brothers. <laughs> Winning! <laughs> Winning! You got, a, you got a soundboard now? Man, I've been here. Look, I got all up. It's Florida Evans. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about that that Good Times episode? <laughs> oh, man. I, no, 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 listen, no, listen. Now, brother... The young brother might not know about that Florida Evans. <laughs> nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> you don't know about good time, bro. I was born in two thousand. <laughs> Damn, brother. Do you know about uh? You don't know who the Fire Heartbeats is? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn, look, brother Kev. I know, uh, uh, Steve. I I know you know about the Fire Heartbeats, huh? You, I heard of them. <laughs> yeah, you don't know who Eddie Kane is. <laughs> Look, I've n- I, I never watched that movie. I know I know what movie it is, but I never no no disrespect to the movie. It was just I thought it was is it is good. I always thought it could have been cheesy. Man, let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. You want my spot flash? Yeah, you know that you want my spot flash. You ain't gonna get it because you ain't got it. Eddie Kane was the man. Let me tell you something. 
I heard so many people talk about that movie too. I mean, that's the thing. Look, it's on YouTube for free. Y'all brothers need to go watch it. Y'all need to yeah, watch I, it. I don't know who that is. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, look I, but look, I respect that you brothers don't know who that is. I love to see you brothers winning. Look, I didn't even uh, plan on staying on this long, but look, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna jump on again tomorrow, and y'all brothers are welcome. I see. This is what I love. I love to see us doing this. This is this is a special thing for us to do this. And before we leave out tonight, man, uh, look, I, everybody want to know about you, brother Steve. Look, hold on. Everybody think. <laughs> Everybody think when you come to Santo Domingo, you the women got you, brother. How you gonna stay sane? And look, 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 let's talk about this before we leave, brother Steve. How you gonna stay sane in Santo Domingo for your first trip? How you gonna handle? Sane. How you how, how you gonna be able to beat these beautiful women? Ah man, I I'm coming there just to uh to explore, really. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, but you gonna meet? They gonna be on you. That's cool. They supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they supposed to be. I'm not. Here's a th- look here, man. No, no, talk. Let's run with I'm it. A, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm all about the character of a woman and shit like that. Pussy is everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Literally is everywhere. Is mm-hmm. every, 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 there's no shortage of it. I don't put such it's a high not. value on pussy like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I love it. I don't love it more than I love being successful though i don't love it more than i love taking care of my goals i don't love it more like you know what i'm saying i think steve steven it's, 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 I, I think you're rolling trying to tell you it's a it's a different um it's different it's a different it's, it's different because again i was i'm i was born and raised in miami so Everyone yeah. is here. Is, is you got a lot of Dominicans, Colombians. It's different, but he got a, he got experience. He but even it. when you go there, I, it's like holy crap! It's a different level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just don't. I don't put a woman above me. That's just no, 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 no. Now look, now look, now look. One thing I, huh? I do. One thing I, I I rock with you about Steve is that you are about masculinity. The what? Let me tell you something, man. I rock with Steve definitely on that. He's about masculinity. Oh, look, before I let y'all guys go, look, Steve, did you see the thing with Austin with the, with the, is on, is on, is on Twitter? I'm not, I'm going to lie. I don't even know who Austin is. Never mind. Austin Holloman. I know. All right. Yeah. So so did you see that about, uh, did you see that on Twitter? Yeah, I seen it on Twitter. It was crazy. Let me know what you think about it. It's, I saw a lot of a woman just getting mad. You know I just I don't understand, man. Just if yeah, the women they, were very mad. I just don't get it. And those even worse to me is the guys. Like they oh, just get some hating, what are you doing? man. So basically, no, well, look. In, yeah, go ahead. Run. Yeah, tell him. No, no, run it. I want you to run okay. it. Okay. So he he was in Peru. This is that post, right? With the Peruvian yeah, girl. That's what he. Well, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's the one that's that's in Peru. He, yeah, he basically posted. Um, he was in Peru, and I don't remember exactly yeah. what he said in the title, but he said something like. It this wasn't even feminine that bad. Woman. Yeah, it wasn't nothing crazy. This is a naturally feminine woman, basically. Yeah. And then you know they're having a conversation. It's a, just a, it's a, it's nothing like crazy like he used to. He's supposed some crazy stuff, so yeah. he chilled out. This was a regular PG thirteen. Just but cool, I, I haven't really listened can. to a lot of these things. But mm-hmm. people was like, "Man, what the hell?" What like m- many people sent it to me. I'm like, um, I know he's close with. People like Austin is close with people who I know. Like, look, one thing about us in this travel sphere, we all connected to people who connected to people could connect them. So, so many people send it to me. I'm like, when I looked at it, I'm like, wait, 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 hold on. They mad with Austin for what? And I never watched five minutes of Austin. Like mm-hmm. I said, I'm old enough to be Austin's dad. I, I never look, not saying I wouldn't watch it, but when I saw him, like, he didn't even say anything bad. And look, it's one thing to see women. When I saw all the men attacking his brother, black men, I'm like, why are you attacking this guy, man? This what are they attacking him for, though? Because he was living his life. Because he's living life. You're going to get hate. They're trying to get points. Too, yeah. yeah, they're trying to get points. Look, oh, man, if y'all know all the hate I get, let me tell you something. 
I get I get hate, but I also get love. I get so much love from women. Look, y'all don't know the love I done got. I had a Canadian woman show up to one of my rooms. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, that YouTube clout is a mug. I had a, I had a Canadian woman. She thought she was sexy too. Now this, she show up in my room. I ain't gonna go. I gotta say that for a story time. <laughs> I, had a Canadian, I had a Canadian woman show up in my room. <laughs> She, she thought she was sexy, but you know, I did hit it though. But let, let's go another question. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I wouldn't be the wolf if I didn't do it, but this is all good. So, so man, we're gonna look. So we're gonna close this out, man. I didn't stand on uh, I didn't wait. No, let, hold on, before we stand, uh, before we get out of here. Let me see. Many brothers, the people here knowing it, make sure we got everybody. Let the people go on here. And it was late tonight. So look. So before we end, put your YouTubes out there if you got YouTubes. Okay. Well, mine is Unlimited Cam Reacts. Again, it's Cam yeah. with a K. And then Unlimited Cam mm -hmm. is my more vlogging channel. It's something I'm trying to build up where I'm going to just be showing like all the travel. Because I travel a lot. I'm always traveling yeah. throughout the United States. And now I have some more money now. Trying to weekends, I'm always trying to go somewhere like to the Caribbean or Man, somewhere look, else in South America. Send me your send me your email. Look, Ronan. Yeah, I'm writing you right now. Traveler. Yeah, Ronan the Wonder Traveler at gmail.com. Send it to me, man. You can get on here with me all the time. Promote mm -hmm. your channel. I like to talk to you, brother Steve. You say you don't have a YouTube. Nah, brother. brother Steve, man, God, you gotta on, make man. one, man. It's too much money. You gotta right. make one. You gonna be getting on here, look. I, I'm, brother I'm Steve, not, you know how many people now gonna be wanting to know who you are? You're on here that, with me. Yeah, we almost fourteen thousand people. They're gonna say, oh, "I want to know who Steve is." You gonna have cool. your own people I, up. I'm, I'm more of a background type of guy. I don't really like to, you know what I mean. I am as well, but when you see how much money that can be, I know someone who's on here who who who's a tech YouTuber. She makes forty five thousand yeah. a month. She quit her. Oh, engineering you make job. your money on YouTube, Steve, and then <laughs> add. But look, I won't force you to do anything because I believe yeah. in the brothers. But Steve, you want to talk to Steve? Look, Steve, I want you to hit me up. I want us to talk off, off outside of all this. And um, Steve, look, hit me up to Rona the One in Travel at gmail.com. I want to talk hey. to you. Brother, I, I'm waiting for you to respond to the first email I sent you. Wait, you sent <laughs> look, if, if you sent it to me, I maybe I didn't I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. The last live I sent you one right after that. Cause no, I, no, no. I, wait, 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 look, let's make sure you sent it to the right place. Ronan the wandering traveler at gmail.com. I did. You had like a uh it's like a, a, a sky picture up there, right? For for the uh like the uh the back the uh the avatar. Your, I don't know, but you email. probably you you probably sell that the you probably sell that the Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm telling you right now, and I'm a, and I'm gonna call you Ronan the Wanding Traveler at gmail.com. I promise you, I will call you. We can chop it up, and we're gonna go from there, man. Because I want to see all us brothers win. Let me tell you, brothers. Look, we go we go uh, stop this live stream, man. But look. We're going to jump back on maybe tomorrow. Look, I appreciate all you guys that's rocking with the channel, man. There's one thing, man. One thing I, I love about the brotherhood, when it's real, it's real. It feel good. It's late. And you brothers are still here, man. We're going to jump back on this thing tomorrow. Any of you brothers will jump on. We're going to jump on, man. So, look, I appreciate all you brothers. We are out. Shout out to the Kings. Shout out to everybody. All right, hey, shout out to all good. you teams. Thank you. Be safe out there. All right.